Hello. Hi. How are you today? Very good. All right. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Oh, good evening. Okay, welcome to the course. What time is it? It's eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Okay. So my name is Francisco Marroquin. I'm going to be your English teacher. Um, I'm 49 years old. I live in Lourdes. I'm married and I have five children. I work for different institutions. I teach different levels, beginners, intermediate, advanced. So um, here I am. So um, did they give you instructions on what you're supposed to do? Did they give you instructions? Les dieron instrucciones. Mm, yes. yes. Okay. So the, the number one instruction is that the same way you are right now, everybody needs to show their complete name. So in my case, I should say Francisco Jose Marroquín Bardales because um, INSAFORP is going to monitor these classes. So they need to see your full names. For example, if I write Francisco Marroquin, but it's different if I write Francisco Jose Marroquin Bardales, because there is a possibility that we have another Francisco Marroquin in the class. Um, is, is that clear? Yes. So, so yeah, when yes. you have when you have the name when you have the chance, please change your name. So not Francisco Marroquín, but Francisco Jose Marroquín Bardales. It has to be a full name, right? right. Um, what what is the schedule of the class? What is the schedule? Eight. Eight to ten. Eight to ten. ten. Very good. Uh, what days? Monday to Friday. Monday Friday. to Friday. Five days a week, two hours every day. Five days a week, two hours every day. Your attendance is very, very important. You need to be present every day. You need to be present all the time. So it's not like, oh, I don't, I don't want to have classes today or no, it's not optional. So you guys made a commitment and that commitment is to be present in every single class. Is that clear too? Is that clear? What happened yes. uh -huh. what, what happened if, what, what happen if I have an appointment in the week? Okay, um, if you have, that's a very good question. What happens if I have an appointment uh, during the week? If you can yeah. justify, if you can present letters that says, look, Ronald Humberto has an appointment at this time, then uh, you would have to explain that to Inglés Corporativo so they can make the necessary arrangements. Yeah. Okay. Because, you know, emergencies happen too, so, but try to be present in, in every class. So let me see, here's the chat. Let me see, you need to write your full name, full name. That is the first one, Francisco Jose Marroquín Bardales. Number two, what was number two? No absences, you cannot be absent. Number three, your camera needs to be on all the time. 
your camera needs to be on all the time. Let me explain why. In other classes, sometimes people connect to the class, but they disappear. They go have lunch, they go have dinner, they start doing other things. And I say, Francisco, can you hear me? And Francisco is not absent. So your camera needs to be on. So um, if I have a question for you, or if someone wants to ask you something, um, everything is, um, is, is clear and it's there. And uh, what else? Your, let me see this, participation. Okay, I need your participation. Let me ask you something. What, hold on. What is the best learning? Ya le voy el tiempo que hablen ustedes. This is, I just wanna put everything on the, on the table. What is the best learning? Can someone answer that question? La mejor manera de aprender algo. How do you do that? Practice make perfect. Practice makes perfect. I like that one. The best learning. Let me write this here. The best learning is the one you learn by doing. So, el mejor aprendizaje es el que usted aprende haciendo las cosas. So, in this case, we're trying to acquire a new language. And like someone says, practice makes perfect. La práctica es el maestro. So, don't be afraid to make mistakes because everybody makes mistakes. I make mistakes. But you need to be able to uh, express your ideas and don't feel... Um, don't feel bad if we make mistakes. And mistakes is part of the learning process. Any questions or comments so far? No. Questions or comments? No. Is everything that I wrote in the chat clear? Yes. 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 Is everything clear? Yes. 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 Okay. Yeah. Uh, let me see this. Here. Yes. Let me check on the volume. Uh -huh. Okay. Can you hear me better? Yes. Yes. Yeah, the volume was yes. very, very low. Okay. Low. Okay. Um, any questions before you start speaking? How do you say presentarse in English? Introduce me. Introduce. So it is your chance to introduce yourself. So I said, what's my name? What is my name? Your name is Francisco Marroquin. Exactly. That is my name. My name is Francisco Marroquin. Where do I live? You're living in Lourdes. I live in Lourdes. How old am I? Did I mention my age? Yes. How old am I? 42 you years old. 30 years old. How old? 42? 40. I am... 30. 48. Oh yeah. I am 48, oh, yeah. almost, almost oh, yeah. 49, almost 49. I'm going to be 50 next year. And I feel very new. I feel mm -hmm. like if I were 20, <laughs> 21. Okay, anyways. So my name is Francisco. Perfect. I'm 48 years old. I live in Lourdes. I'm married. How many children do I have? Five. Five. Five, Five is correct. Okay, five is correct. Okay, so may I have the first volunteer to introduce yourself? Volunteer. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh-huh, please. 
My name is Fernando Minero. I am 20, 25 years old. I work in the Agape Association in the communication art. I live in the city of the Congo. Oh, good. Very good. Nice. Okay. Thank you. Someone else, another volunteer. Uh huh. Volunteer or victim? Uh huh. Volunteer or okay. victim? What do you like? Yes, who said okay? Mercy. Okay, Mercy. We're all ears. Hello, my name is Mercy. I'm 26 years old. I'm married and I live at San Salvador. Okay. And I don't have any children. Okay. What part of San Salvador are you in, Mercy? Here, uh, La Cima. Oh, okay. Very good. Good. Thank you, Mercy. Another volunteer. volunteer. Well, uh, well uh, good evening, everybody. Uh -huh. My name is Ronald. Uh, I'm living in Santa Tecla. Uh, I'm 38 years old. And I work in Atlantida Bank, specifically in the legal department uh, since 2009. So I'm here because I want to learn English. It's my purpose. And so that's it. Good, very good. Now, Ronald mentioned something very important. He mentioned the reason why he's here. And he says, I'm here because I want to learn. I want to improve. So if you come to class every day and you are participating in everything, I guarantee you that in four weeks, you guys will have learned uh, more ah, of the ¿Qué son de esas personas de que son? Ok. Ok, thank you, Ronald. Someone else. Time is money. Hello. Yes. Hello, everyone. Hello. Nice to meet you. Uh huh. So, my name is Helen Mercedes Lopez Benitez. I'm from San Miguel. Okay. Um, the city of San Miguel. Okay. I work, my job is um, human resources at Hotel Comfort Inn in okay. San Miguel. Okay. And I try to improve my English because long time ago that I don't practice and learn a little bit more. So that's why I'm here. Very good. You are in the right place, Helen. Thank you. Welcome. Enjoy, All right. Ronald. All right. So who's next? Next. Thanks. Uh-huh. Yes. Hi. Hello. Hi. My name is Josue Castillo. Uh -huh. uh, I live in Ilopango, and uh, I, am, I am a teacher, a math teacher, and I am here because I want to learn English, and I want to understand when I watch a movie in English, for example. Uh, I am happy to, to be here. Good. What grades do you teach, Josue? What sections do you uh, teach? Six, mm, six sections. Uh, oh. Three grades. Three different grades. Yes, yes. And do you work in the morning or in the afternoon? In the morning. And where do you work? In uh, I work in at um, Colegio Champañat. Good, good. All right, yes. nice. Thank you. The better, the, the better school in Santa Tecla. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's, you know, like Champagnat, when they take the pies, they always get the first places. They get good scores. Always they get, get the first place. Yep, yeah. All through, all through the country. Yep, yep. All right, good. Thank you, Josue. Next one. Nice Next to one. meet you, everyone. Hello, Rocio. My name is Rocio. It's a pleasure shared with the time with you. I, I honest, I forgot my English. Don't worry. Um, 
Uh, well, I work in a flower, camera flower shop. I'm 25 years old. Okay. And I am uh, of international affairs. Um, okay. And where, where do you live, uh, Rocio? In San Salvador, Colón Escalón. Okay, good. So you like plants? Yeah. Okay, good. Very good. All right. Thank you, Rocio. Thank you. Okay, someone else? Someone else? Yes. Good evening. Oh. Good evening, Wendy. It's a pleasure to be with us tonight. My name is Wendy Guadalupe Alvarez Reyes. I have 27 years old. I work at STV events and I want to learn English very well with all you. Okay, good. And, and where do you live, Wendy? I live in Mexicano City. Okay, what part of Mexicanos? Um, Colonia Buenavista. Oh, okay, good, good. Thank you, Wendy. Thanks. Okay. So she says, I want to learn from you guys. So everybody's here on the same boat. Everybody will help each other. Very good. Uh, someone else. Someone who hasn't said anything. Hi. Give, give me a second. They're calling me from my job. Hold on. Give me a second. Hello. Hi. Wait, Maria, wait. Hmm. No. Uh, I'm sorry, they were asking about you guys. It says, is everybody present? Okay, so who was going to speak? I'm sorry. Hello, teacher. Yes, Maria del Carmen. Talk yes. to me. <laughs> um, my name is Maria del Carmen Colindres Fuentes. I am 23 years old. I work in Hotel Comfort in San Miguel. Okay. I live in okay, good. So you work with Helen? Yes. <laughs> okay, so you know each other in real life? Se conocen en la vida real? Okay, good, good. Thank you. Okay, who's next? Next. Hi. Hello. 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 Yes, Sorry. Concepcion? Okay. Uh, hi, my name is Stephanie Montano. Uh -huh. I am a public accountant and I work in Remesas y Pagos Cusca, the company like a financial. Uh, Servicios financieros? Yeah, uh, financial services. Financial services. And I live in San Salvador and I have 35 years old. Okay. And nice to meet you. All right, nice to meet you too. Thank you, Stephanie. All right, uh, what part of San Salvador do you live in, Stephanie? Colonia Flor Blanca. Flor Blanca, they got some beautiful houses there. Big houses. Big house. All right, good, thank you, Stephanie. Next. Next. Hello. Hi. Araceli. Hi. Uh-huh. Hello. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. My, um, good evening. Uh, my name is Araceli, Ana Araceli Valdez de Santos. Uh -huh. I work in, in Pan Sinaí, fiscal, fiscal accountant. Um, I live in, in San Jose Villanueva, uh -huh. en La Libertad. Um, yeah. I am interested in uh, learning and speak English very well. Good, very good. Mm -hmm. I I have a 55 years old. Uh-huh, okay. Good, do you have children, uh, Araceli? Yes, I 
a son and a daughter. A son and a daughter. You have the couple. Okay. Good. Very yeah. good. Thank you, Araceli. Next one. Next. Hi, my name my name is Sofia Escobar. I live in, in Santa Tecla. I work in Vidri. Um, I have 25 years old. Okay, good. And you live with your parents, Sofia? Yes, with my mom and sister. Okay, good. And, and you say you work in Vidri. What branch? Yes. What branch in Vidri? In Bayer, in Bayer, Bayer, uh -huh. Bayer Department. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. All right. Good. In, in Santa Tecla. Mm, I live in Santa Tecla, but I work in Venezuela. Okay. All right. Good. Very good. Thank you. Next one, gentlemen, gentlemen, Luis, Jimmy, Christian, Samuel. Josue Delgado, uh -huh. talk to good me. Night. Hello, good evening. Uh, good night, my name is Christian Franco. Uh -huh. Yes, Christian? I have, I have uh, 20, 27. Uh -huh. I live in San Marcos. Okay. I am working from Medical Bank. Okay, so you live in San Marcos? Yes. Okay, and where do you work, Christian? Uh, what? Where do you work? Uh, Promerica Bank. Okay. Um, Escalon. Okay, good, very good. You don't have children? <coughs> do you have children, Christian? Mm, fine. You don't have children. Mm. No tiene hijos. No. No, no, no. Okay. All right. Good. Thank you. Who's next? Next. 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 Uh huh. Hi. Yes. Samuel. Yes. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Samuel Rosales. I have 24 years old, and I work in. Can I bakery? Uh huh. I don't have children. I live with my parents. Hey, Bob. I have uh, one brother. Okay, good. And uh, and where do you live, Samuel? In Mexicanos. Mexicanos. What part of Mexicanos? Uh, La Sacamil. Okay, good, good. All right, thank you. Next. Who's next? Time is money. Time is money. Uh huh. Volunteer or victim? Hi. Yes. Hi, my name is Jimena Botevic. Uh huh. I'm a preschool teacher. I work at Colegio Champañat. Okay. I I am married. I have one child, and I live. In Lourdes. Okay. What part of Lourdes are you in? Las Arboledas. Okay, good. And, and what subject do you teach? Uh, in at the uh, school. Uh huh. What subjects do you teach? Computer. Oh, good, good. <laughs> nice. No. Thank you, Jimena. Okay. Uh, another volunteer. Another volunteer. Another volunteer. Yes. No. Let me see. Hello. Okay, listen. Uh, when, when we are connected, try to be in a place where there is no um, noise or no interruptions. So try to be in a, in a quiet place. Okay, uh, Luis, thank you, Luis. Hi, teacher. Hello. Uh, uh, good evening. Good evening. Uh, my name is Luis Escobar. I live in I Justi Peque, Santísima Trinidad. Uh -huh. I accountant. Uh, I 
uh, 48 years old. Okay, good. Do you have children, Luis? Yes, I have two children and married. Okay, good. Thank you. Coralia. Thank you, Coralia. Hello, good evening. Uh -huh. My name is Coralia Rivera. I am from Sonsonate. Okay. Uh, I work in, in Children Village, SOS, uh -huh. here in Sonsonate. Okay, good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Do you live with your parents, Coralia? Yes, I live with my mom and my brother. Good, very good. Thank you, Coralia. Thank you. Josue Edgardo. Hi, uh, I am connected oh, in two dispositives. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, I yes. got you. All right, good. Never mind. Yes. So who's missing? Mercy, has Mercy said anything? Yes, yeah, she, she, she already spoke. Coralia, Samuel, Rocio. Rocio, she spoke. Magdalena. Hello, Magdalena. Hello. Hi, good evening. Uh -huh. My name is Magdalena Melendez. Uh, I live in Mexicanos. Okay. Casa Camil. Uh -huh. uh, I am working the University El Salvador. Okay. Uh, Are you a teacher? No. Electrical engineer. Okay. En el, Departamento de Desarrollo Físico. Okay, good, good. All right, good, thank you. Okay. Marcela. Hello. How are you, Marcela? Fine, thank you. My name is Marcela Orellana. I work at Banco de Fomento Agropecuario. Uh -huh. I am 29 years old. I am industrial engineer. I live in San Salvador, but I'm from Sonsonate. Okay, good. All right, good, nice. So who who else is missing? Uh, let me see. Christian Omar, did he speak already? Okay. Christian Omar, yes, Christian, thank you. Christian. My name is Christian Omar Salazar. I live in Santa Ana. I work in the Cameron office. I am 34 years old. Okay, good. Are you married or single? Uh, I am married. Okay, do you have children? Yes, I have two children. All right, good. All right, thank you. And thank last you. but not least, Jimmy Rodriguez. Hello, good evening. Good evening. My name is Jimmy Rodriguez. I live in San Marcos with my parents and I don't have a children and I work in Promerica Bank. Okay, so you live in San Marcos? Yes. Okay, good, thank you. All right, so everybody, welcome back. I have um, two observations. When you talk about your age, do you say I am 48 years old or I have 48 years old? Which one is correct? I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. You use have for physical things. I have a pen. I have a cell phone. I have a paper. But if you're talking about corporal things, you're supposed to say, I am 49 years old. I am 21 years old. So that is one. And the other one. Can you tell me the differences between good evening and good night? What's the difference? Good when, night, para ir a dormir. Uh -huh. Good night is when you're saying goodbye. And good evening. Good evening. When do you use good evening? So Magdalena says, you say good night when you're going to sleep, when you're saying goodbye. Mm -hmm. What about okay. good evening? It's like when you go home, you say, hi, good evening. Exactly. So good night is to say goodbye. Good evening is to say, hello, I am here. Mm -hmm. So at mm -hmm. eight o'clock, when we connect, I said, good evening, how are you? Blah, 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 blah. When we finish the class at 10 o'clock, I say, okay, good night, see you tomorrow. 
Got it? Got it. All right, good, uh, very good. Tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> all right, so <laughs> let's begin. Do you have your books ready? Do you yes. have your books ready? Let me see these here. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, it's right here. Okay, do you see the book? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right, let me see this here. Okay, so we are we are on page nine, the restaurant industry. Do you see number one? Do you see the part that says, let's start? Yes. Okay, may I have a volunteer to read the questions here, please? What is your favorite restaurant? Uh-huh. The other questions? Another volunteer? What makes this restaurant a special place? Good. Uh, and the last question? What is more popular in your city? Take our delivery service. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now, what is the meaning of takeout, class? What's the meaning of takeout? What is takeout? Para llevar, exactly. And we all know what delivery service means. So I will assign you to work in pairs. So when you speak with your friend, you will discuss what is your favorite restaurant? What makes this restaurant a special place? And what is more popular in your city? Takeout or delivery service? Are the questions clear? Are the questions clear? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So let me assign. I'm going to have you working in pairs. And here we go. In English, no Spanish people. Okay. Uh -huh. Hi. Yeah. Okay, everybody's getting connected. I take off, teacher. Where are you? Who's talking? Hello, somewhere else. Hi, uh, I think that uh, my partner uh, disconnect his depos dispositive because they, they, he never spoke. Okay, so let me assign you to another room. I will send you to room three with Coralia and Helen. Okay, thanks. All right. Pampa Argentina, what makes the, this restaurant a special place? And Pampa Argentina is, is a steak. Seafood yeah. and a steak. Okay. And, and, and what, uh, what kind of style of service uh, have 
eh, la Pampa Argentina? Voy a hello, hello. Hello. How are you? Hello. Are you practicing the questions? Eh, Estamos ahorita teacher, que... Ajá, no le tomamos captura. Ok, a, hold on. La, y no le tenemos a la mano. Ok, it's right there. Se lo voy a enviar al chat. Give me a second. Ah, ok. Al okay. WhatsApp chat para que no se pierdan. Let's see. Ok. Hmm. Ok, right here. Okay, it's right there. Gracias, teacher. All right, good. You say thank you, teacher. <laughs> thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, I am bilingual. <laughs> yes, you're bilingual, exactly. Ahorita, <laughs> They make the burgers. When I come to the Wendy's, I, I like to enjoy my friends. Okay. My favorite yeah. restaurant here in no, San Miguel. Will, the, the, okay. The okay. So, so you will, you will answer. Okay. <laughs> what is your favorite restaurant? Okay. My favorite restaurant in San Miguel is uh, El Horno. It's a small restaurant. Um, her it especially is pizzas, mm -hmm. and it's delicious. They have a excellent lemonade, so that's my favorite restaurant here in Samia. So you like um, pizza? Yes. Good. <laughs> that's one of my favorite. I <laughs> love pizza too. Pizza is good. Perfect, teacher. Perfect. <laughs> A little but, bit. <laughs> but I like more uh, Italian food. Italian? Yes. <laughs> you prefer Italian food than that, that Mexican food? Yes. I like Mexican. I yeah. love Mexican food. <laughs> you too? <laughs> Burritos, quesadillas, yeah. tacos, everything. I love Mexican food. Yeah. Los de aquí del Maferrer, ¿verdad? <laughs> oh, those are... Those are Pretty good. Yes. <laughs> I love okay. it. Yes. Rocio likes Chinese food. Oh, you prefer Chinese food, Rocio? Yeah, I prefer Chinese food. Okay. Good, good. I prefer Italian food. You like pasta, Ximena? Yes. I okay. love the pizza. And, I'm and, a pizza lover. Okay. And do you cook? <laughs> do you cook, Ximena? In this moment, yes, uh -huh. but the usually not. It's not my friend. <laughs> okay. What about you, Rocio? Do you cook? In my case, I love cook. Good. I love like everything that I can imagine. <laughs> oh, good, good. That's nice. Yeah. All right. My husband. ¿Cómo se llama? Planet de Renderos. Planet de Rendero. In the in, in your city, the more popular restaurant is the Pollo Campero in the pizza. Yes. Okay. In the, the in your favorite food is, is China, China wood. Sí. China. China, China, seafood, Chinese food. China work. China work. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. In the, Question two, uh, I don't remember. Uh, it's in the chat. I wrote it in the, I sent it to the WhatsApp chat. It says, okay. what makes this restaurant a special place? Okay. Uh, so if you say, I love Pizza Hut. Okay, why do you like Pizza Hut, Francisco? You know? So what what is the reason you like this place? Okay. For example, um, Hello. Hello teacher. Hello teacher. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. 
<laughs> did you did you guys finish uh, uh, the questions? The question, yes, teacher. I okay. finished the question. Do you cook, Luis? Mm, so so. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. What do you like to cook, Luis? I like cook uh, egg. Eggs. Or, or fried egg. Or fried eggs. Fried, fried eggs. Uh, okay. Egg. All right. Egg. And you, Marcela, do you cook? And she, uh, she go to water. <laughs> oh, she went to drink water. She went to drink water. Say. Water. Okay, good. So, Luis, you are an accountant. Yes, I am. I, I accountant. You like numbers. So, so, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah if, if you are an accountant, it's because you like numbers. Yes, I like numbers, but laws and, and uh, financial studies. Financial studies. Financial studies. Financial studies. Okay. Um, uh -huh. and international international uh, transactions. Uh, no normas normas. Uh, norms. Norms. International, international norms. The. In the financial in, in, information not financial. Okay, financial information. Financial, finan, okay. Financial. 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 Exactly, exactly. Very good. All right. Let me. All right. Hale un par de preguntas más a Marcela. Marcela is very anxious to speak with you. Yes. Okay, Luis. Yeah, I I will say another restaurant. Uh, mm -hmm. It's Pollo Campero. Uh, and you, what is your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant is La Pampa Argentina. What makes this restaurant a special place? Uh, the flavor uh, of the chicken. I like it. I like that chicken. Okay. And you, what, what make this restaurant a special place? Mm, the wine red. Red wine. The red wine. Thank ah, you. You like the you like wine, Stephanie? Yes. Yes, okay. I like it so much. Okay. So you like grapes? Yes. <laughs> yeah, grapes are delicious. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Which which question are you doing? <laughs> what question are you discussing? Uh, three questions. The third question: What is more popular in your city, takeout or delivery service? Oh, we understand that we 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 have the th three Questions. part of the exercise no no what no, what, no. You, what you need to do is answer the three questions related with restaurants oh. yeah or only speaking so if i say oh, okay <laughs> so if i say sofia what is your favorite restaurant and they said oh my favorite oh. restaurant is uh las carnitas de whoever and what makes this place special? All oh, the prices, oh. the attention is good, blah, blah, blah. And so That's, just uh, speaking, listening. only speaking. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Thank you, All right, All right okay. good. I go to the, to the work two or three times on the week. Well, I... When the quarantine start, I've been at home all the time, but we start to get to work and I go for once or three times a week. Okay. okay. And what does STV events do, Wendy? What exactly do they do? We make events uh -huh. for the most bigger guests 
company, for example, we talk about uh, with Ronald, we organize events for Bank Atlantida. Uh -huh. And we, bueno, for Taylor's event, a part of the events, we uh, get support for uh, some equipment like computers. We sold, what, what right now? We start to sell uh, insumos médicos. Uh -huh. Yeah, me medicine uh, supplies. Medic medicine supplies. And the company have three branches. For example, uh, STB event, STB medic supplies, and STB computers. Oh, okay. Now, when you talk about medic medical uh, supplies, are you talking about sanitizer, gloves, and things like that? Yes, my face, facial, um, disposable mask, uh, mascarillas KN95, no sé cómo se dice. Yeah. Uh, and all the type to sanitizantes. Okay, good, sanitizers. Yeah, right now with this emergency, it's very important that people wash their hands, you know, protect their hands, and yeah. people have to be clean. You know, it's not an, it's not an option anymore. It's, it's mandatory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Which well, question are you restaurant. doing? What is your favorite restaurant? Okay, the second question, what makes this restaurant a special place? What is your favorite restaurant, Christian? My favorite restaurant, Pollo Campero. Pollo Campero. Magdalena, what is yours? Uh, my, what? What is your favorite restaurant? Uh, my favorite restaurant is uh, China Walk. China walk. China. And Jimmy, Jimmy. Jimmy, what is your favorite restaurant? Is he there? Jimmy, Jimmy. Okay. Now, you said Pollo Campero, China Walk, Burger King, Papa John's. The second question, you need to explain why this place is your your favorite um, why this place is is so special for you got it do you understand the second question entiende la segunda pregunta yes teacher okay so answer it mm -hmm. I, I, we don't know how to say it. Um, you can say my girlfriend and I, we birth um, one month together. Oh, no, birth no, is, no, no, no birth is nacimiento. Uh -huh. well, what is, what is, what is uh, you say turn, turn. So turn. my wife and I, we turn uh, five years this coming December, for example. Turn. Turns. But but if you want to say an exactly uh, number Months? of months. Okay, so you say one month. We turn two years, five weeks, two months. Oh, perfect. Yeah, uh, we turn one month. Yes, yes. we turn one month. Or okay. you can say, mi, mi hijo cumplirá 22 años. My son is going to turn going 22. To turn 22. Uh huh. Okay. Exactly. Very good. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. Perfect. Thank you, teacher. Good. Thank you, teacher. Hello, hello. Hello. Which which question are you doing? Did you finish? Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. So we almost go back to the main session again. Okay. Okay. All right. Let me check this here. Uh -huh. There. Have you guys finished? 
Yeah, teacher. All mm. right, very good. Let's go back to the main session. Okay. Wow. Welcome back. Okay, any questions or comments about the three questions you were discussing? No? Uh, may I have a volunteer to answer what your favorite restaurant is? Well, in my case, my favorite restaurant is Tony Roma's. Tony Roma's. What makes yeah. this place special, Ronald? Uh, well, first, because uh, they have many, uh, many styles of, diff of service. For example, uh, they have delivery, they have take a table, and, and you can take, you can eat there, or you can take an out, and so on. But uh, obviously, uh, Tony Roma is my favorite restaurant because uh, the, ribs, the ribs is my favorite uh, dish. Okay. All right, good. Nice. Tony Roma's is, is, is delicious. I love ribs too. Yeah. <laughs> Someone else wants to share your favorite restaurant? The rest, you don't have a favorite restaurant? You don't like to eat? I do have a favorite restaurant. What is your favorite <laughs> restaurant, Helen? Well, my favorite restaurant in San Miguel is El Horno. Uh -huh. El Horno. Uh -huh. I, uh, so it's uh, a special place for me and it's her, it, uh, specialty is pizza, uh -huh. pizza, stromboli and all that kind of pizza. Okay. And I, I like the stromboli uh -huh. and with pineapple. <laughs> okay. That's my favorite one. And... It's a special place because you can go with your family, with your friends, with uh, your girlfriend, boyfriend. So that's what I like the place. Okay, good, good. Yes. All right, someone else, another volunteer? No? Marcela, do you have a favorite restaurant? Yes, my favorite restaurant is Olive Garden. Olive Garden. Like Why Italian do you like? Food. Oh, Italian food. You like Italian food? Yes, I okay. love Italian food. Good, good. All right. Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? No? Stephanie, do you have a favorite restaurant? Concepcion Stephanie? Yes, my favorite restaurant is La Pampa Argentina. Okay. It's special for me uh, because it's a romantic place. And um, they serve the best red wine and the best meat. Okay, good. The best meat. Very good. Nice. All right. Anybody else wants to share your favorite restaurant? Anybody else? Anybody else? Yeah. Rocio Mejia, what is your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant is China World because I, a time ago, I share with my family a special moment. Okay, good, good. All right. All right. Um, okay, so that was the introduction. Mention your favorite restaurant. Why? And what is more popular now? Is it takeout or delivery? Delivery. Yeah. Delivery. Everything is delivery now. Everything is delivery and they charge too. It's not free. Exactly. Yeah. So they they charge $15, $20, whatever, plus delivery. So it's like an extra tip for them. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay. So that was the introduction. Now we go with the conversation. Let me see this here. It's right here. We will share. Remember that um, your face needs to be visible. Tenemos que estarlos viendo, así que tienen que, um, you have to show your beautiful faces. 
<laughs> okay. So now we go with part two. I need a volunteer to read the introduction, please. Part two. Somebody, anybody. Somebody wants to read, please. Uh huh. Only one. Only one. Don't fight. Luigi, there. Luigi. Yes, Luigi. Okay. Luigi has a has a pizza rest, restaurant, but he wants to have more cost customers. Yes. Read the conversation and complete the sentence. Sentence. The statements. No, sta statements below. Okay. Good. Okay. So thank you, Ronald. Before we continue. Um, let me take your attendance. I need to know who is here. Uh, Sophia Stephanie. Hi. Okay. Let me hold this here. Mm -hmm. Mi amor. Okay. Uh, Fernando Arturo. Fernando. Okay. Okay, you need to say present, you, present. Present. And you need to show me your beautiful face, present, Francisco. Okay, Coralia Rivera. Coralia. Coralia, are you here? Coralia, Coralia. I am here, hello. Okay, very good, thank you. Ronald Humberto. Present. Present, very good. Present. Um, Katia Marcela. Here. Katia Marcela, very good. Uh, Jimmy Rodriguez. Jimmy Rodriguez. Jimmy Rodriguez. Present, very good. Uh, Christian Alexander Franco. Present. Very good. Uh, Josué Edgardo Castillo. Present. Very good. Uh, Jimena Budwig Pineda. Present. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Samuel Rosales. Samuel Rosales. Samuel. Samuel, Samuel. Present. Okay, very good. Uh, Rocio Mejia. Present. Very good. Uh, Mercy Carolina. Present. Nice. Uh, Ana Araceli de Santos. Ana Araceli de Santos. Hmm. Maria del Carmen Colindres. Present. Very good. Present teacher Ana Araceli. Okay. Good. Uh, Helen Mercedes. Present. Present, very good. Luis Alberto Escobar. Present teacher. Very good. Uh, Stephanie Montano. Present teacher. Very good. Uh, Christian Omar Salazar. Present teacher. Very good. Uh, Wendy Guadalupe. Present teacher. Very good. And Magdalena Emperatriz. Magdalena, Magdalena. Present teacher. Very good. Thank you. All right. So let's continue. So we how many people are there in the conversation? Two. Two, Two. people. What are Two their people. names? What are their names? Luigi and, Luigi and Carla. So I need two volunteers. Now remember this. When you read, we have punctuation marks. What is the function of the comma? What does the comma do? It's a pause. A pause. Very pause. good. You make a pause. What do you do when you see a period? Period. What do you do? Do you pause or do you make a short stop? Short stop. Short stop. Uh -huh. short stop. Now, what happens to your intonation when you see a question mark? You um, elevate. What, what happens to your intonation? 
you need mm -hmm. to you, you need to change the intonation. Exactly. How do you say ¿Cómo se llama usted in English? What is, what your, is your name? name? What is your name? So remember, Spanish is flat. Spanish doesn't have intonation. ¿Qué crees? ¿Qué te dijo? ¿A dónde fuiste? Same thing. English is different. When you make a question, your intonation has to be of a question. And what happens when you see an exclamation mark? What happens to your intonation too? You see an exclamation mark? What, what do you do to your intonation? What do you do? Your intonation has to be of, you know, like exclamation. Okay, so I need, uh, pay attention to the, um, to the way that I read and then I will ask for two volunteers. It says, maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza so we get more customers. But cheese is better than pepperoni. Then those Carla. Luigi, I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decorations than this place. We also need more room for more tables. And we have to hire a person to make deliveries. No, no. The secret is in the sauce. It's not the cheese or sauce, Luigi. We have to offer table reservations for regular customers and we don't receive takeout orders. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla, you're a genius. Then we will add more cheese and more sauce. That will be the new specialty of the house. All right. Um, any questions about vocabulary or meaning? No. No? Is everything clear? I yes. guess so. Okay, so I need two volunteers. I need one Luigi and I need one Carla so we can practice our reading. Yes? Yes. I will be Carla. Okay, I will Wendy. Be Carla. Okay, you will be Carla and Luigi. Um, I want to participate. Okay, Josue Edgardo, you are Luigi. Very good. One, two, three. Go ahead. Maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza. So get more customer, but cheese is better than pepperoni. Uh -huh. Maybe I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decoration than this place. We also need more room for more tables. And we have to hire a person to make deliveries. Mm -hmm. No, no. The secret is in the sauce. Uh -huh. It's not the cheese or sauce, Luigi. We have to offer table reservation for regular customers. And we don't receive out orders. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla. You are genius then we will add more cheese and more sauce. That will be the new specialty of the house. Very good, thank you. All right, nice. How do you say letras negritas in English? Yes. How do you say letras negritas in English? Do you know? The comparative. Okay, but how do you say letras negritas itself? Do you see the chat? No. Bold letters. Bold letters. If you want to say, uh, if, I'm, if I want to say something important or I want to emphasize in something, I will say bold letters. Letras negritas. Now, once again, what is the function of the bold letters here? Who answered that question? What make is the function? Make emphasis in the sentence. Uh huh. Make emphasis. And what is the emphasis in this one? Uh, compare uh, two things. Exactly. Compare two things. All right. Any questions about the conversation, um, guys? 
No. Questions, questions? Okay. So now I will assign you to work in pairs. Remember that practice makes perfect. You guys will have to practice the conversation. And also you have to do exercise three and four. Any questions before I assign you to work with someone? What is the difference? What uh -huh. is the difference between comparative and superlative? Very good. That's a very good question. We use comparatives when you are mentioning two things. For example, Guatemala is bigger than El Salvador. But the United States is the biggest. Bigger is comparative. Guatemala and El Salvador. If I include the United States, then I have to use superlatives. So you use comparatives when you're mentioning only two things. If you mention three or more, you have to use superlatives. Yes. Thanks. Okay, good. You're welcome. Anybody else? Any other questions? No? Okay, so let me... Somebody singing. Let me see this Somebody. here. Move to room seven. And let's see where else. Move to room seven. And I will exchange with this one here. Okay, they're talk they're singing about rabbits. So exchange with this one here. All right, so once again, when I open the rooms, you guys have to interact and answer uh, parts three and four. Are the instructions clear? Are the instructions clear, class? Yes, it's clear. All right, let's do this. Is the is the answer uh, for number one? Mm. In the equation that says that cheese is better than. Segunda, sí, el, el, la tres mm -hmm. este, está fácil uh, porque son las letras en negritas que están en la parte de arriba. Solamente de complementar esto. Es de complementar, digamos, chiste. Ok. Let me see. You can share your, you can share your screen. You can see. Which number are you discussing? Hi. Which number are you discussing? What exercise are you doing in this moment? 
teacher. Yes, sir. Uh, what the, what this is the activity? Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, no, don't, don't worry. You have to take turns reading the conversation. And okay. when you finish, you okay. have to do exercises three and four. Uh, the, the, um, the, three, the three questions. Uh, no, yeah, the three questions in part three. And then you have to do part four with the ah, okay. matching okay. with the matching um, activity. Okay. Okay, teacher. All right, good. So let, let me take a picture of um, of this just in case someone else needs it. That picture the picture on the in the WhatsApp. Yes, it's in the WhatsApp in the chat. Web. Okay. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes, teacher. All yes. right, good. Let me break rooms. All right, so you guys can start practicing. It was easy. Yeah. Hello, how are you? Hello. How Fine. are you? Fine. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys finish the exercise? Yes. yes. Well, well done. Did you do parts two, three, and four? Yes. Okay, so you guys work very fast. <laughs> yes. What, what time do you guys usually go to sleep? Uh, nine. <laughs> nine? Uh -huh. Yes, so, I wake up early. <laughs> so this is a desvelo for you, huh? <laughs> but it's for a uh, good thing. <laughs> exactly. Do you know how to say desvelarse in English? No. Do you know how to say quedarse? Stay. 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 So it's stay very... awake. Okay, so you can say stay awake, uh... but the real word is stay up. Oh. So you say, I usually go to sleep at nine o'clock. So this time for me, I'm staying up. Mm -hmm. staying yep. Up. What about you, Wendy? What time do you go to sleep? Usually I go to the bed at 11 p.m. Okay. And you, Maria del Carmen? Somebody... <laughs> I don't have <laughs> Do you guys wake up early? Stephanie, um, you wake up early? Yes. Okay, and you, Wendy? Sometimes. All right. And Maria del Carmen, do you wake up early? Early. What time do you wake up, Maria del Carmen? I can't hear you. Eight, Eight o'clock. Okay, that's good. Hi, Ana Araceli. Hello, tuve problemas para la Okay. I can hear you. Was she disconnected? I guess. Okay, but she's back. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Different dishes placed in the public area where people serve it themselves. Uh huh. What is the meaning of book a table? Mm. What is the meaning of book? Book, el, la libro de Ajá. reserva. Y es un nombre, significa libro. Ajá, but you said one word. What is book mm -hmm. as a verb? Como un verbo, ¿qué significará? Mm -hmm. So, for example, if I say, uh, let's celebrate uh, your sister's birthday, but we need to book a table in advance. We es need como... to book a table. Como el libro de la mesa. 
you have to oh, make a reservation. Uh -huh. so, book a table means make a reservation of a table. Okay. Uh huh. So let's say uh, I'm planning my vacation for this coming December in La Union, but I have to book a room in the hotel. I have to book a room. Exactly. The reservation. Exactly. So mm -hmm. when you book something, what you're saying is that you're making a reservation. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right? Okay. I think. I think it's correct. Okay. I think. It, Which one are you yeah. doing? Number four. Number four. Number four. Okay. And what part of number four are you doing? We are already done it. Okay. So you finished already. Yeah. Yes. All right. We are finished already. Yeah. You guys work too fast. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we are really We are doing uh, our best. Good, very good. Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. Hello. You guys <laughs> finished already? Yes. Yes. Okay, you got all the answers? Yes. yes. Okay, what time do you guys usually go to sleep? My... Um, my or my child? Uh, you. What time do you go? 930. 9.30. 9.30. Uh-huh. Yeah. How do you say desvelarse in English? I don't know. No. <laughs> How do you say quedarse in English? Stay. Stay. So if you want to say desvelarse, you need to add preposition up. So it says, I'm staying up. Mm. Up. So in El Salvador okay. for New Year's or Christmas, people mm -hmm. usually stay up. Stay up. Yeah, mm -hmm. stay up. Stay up. Uh -huh. Or when you go to work, people ask you, hey, Francisco, you look tired. He says, yeah, last night I stayed up. I stayed Me desvelé up. anoche. Yeah. Okay. Rocio, okay. what time do you go to sleep? Um, usually 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Okay. Yes. So, if you are, what part of, are, are you are you in San Salvador, Rocio? What part? Ah, in Colón Escalón. Okay. Is it raining there right now? It's lovely. Uh-huh. Okay. It's I'm in Lourdes and it's it's raining a little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, it's, it's, it's uh-huh. How do you say por rato si, por rato no? On and off. On and off. off. On and off. Mm. Yes. Okay. So let me check in another with your friends and we almost go back to the main okay. session. Okay. Okay. Hello, gentlemen. Yeah, teacher. You guys finished already? Yeah, finished. Okay, good. What time do you usually go to sleep? What time do you usually go to sleep? What time do you usually go to sleep? ¿A qué hora regularmente se duermen? 10 p.m., 11 p.m., 12 p.m. At 11. At 11. Okay, good. And I I I sleep I sleep and uh, uh, at uh, 11 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. And what time do yeah, you wake up? What time do you wake up? Wake up in the 11:30 o'clock. 11:30. Yeah. So you sleep all the morning. Oh, woke up? No. In the in the morning, uh in the I I went to the work teacher. I I come in the in the five five thirty PM. Early. Yeah. Okay. I go in the in the association 
in the Agape Association. Right. In the in the Sosonate. I live I live in the Congo in the part in the part in the Santa Ana. And you go to Sonsonate every day. Every day. For the moment for the moment uh, one 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 day in the in the house, one day in the world. In okay. the office. Good, yeah. good. In, in in English you say I go to my office every other day. Every other every day. Other. Un día sí, un día no. Every other okay. day. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh huh. And you, Christian, what time do you wake up, Christian? I wake up uh, seven a.m. Seven a.m. Okay. Yes. So you go to sleep at eleven and you wake up at seven. Yes. Okay, good. All right, so let's go back to the main session. All right, welcome back. So, what is the answer for number one in part three? Cheese is what? Better than pepperoni. Better than pepperoni. Very good. What about number two? The restaurant next door is? Bigger than our pizzeria. Bigger than our pizzeria. Exactly. And number three, they have? More beautiful, More beautiful decoration, decoration. Than, this place. than this place. Exactly. So uh, when you compare two different things, so you let me write this for you. Um, Guatemala is bigger than Salvador. When you're comparing two things, you're supposed to say then. Guatemala is bigger than El Salvador. How will you say El Salvador is más pequeño que Guatemala? El Salvador is smaller than smaller. Guatemala. Very good. So if you change it and you put it the other way around, you will say El Salvador is smaller than Guatemala. All right? Very good. What about um, the matching exercise in part four? What is the meaning of specialty? This one is extremely good in a particular restaurant. Very good. What about a buffet? What is a buffet? Okay. Yes. Very good. Our favorite one. Yeah. Different dishes placed in a public area where people serve themselves. Well, somebody said your favorite one. Yeah. All you can eat. All you yes. can eat. Okay. We have it in our hotel. Okay. How do you say I unite in English? How do you say rápido in English? Fast. 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 So if you go to all you can eat, sometimes people fast on purpose. Right? They says, no, I won't have breakfast because I have a, a, a lunch today. So people fast. Now, when do people fast? When? What are the two main reasons why people fast? They wake up late. Okay, they wake up late, so they don't have time. That's a possibility. What else? For a uh, religious. Yes, uh, for religious religion. reasons. Very good. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, one that is very common as well. For a uh, diet. Diet? Uh -huh. Diet, yes. Okay. What if the doctor tells you, Francisco, I want to see you tomorrow at eight o'clock with nothing in your stomach? So medical reasons, Okay. medical, medical reasons. reasons. So the two main ones are religious and medical. Okay, so what okay. about number three, book a table? What is the answer for booking a table? 
To make a reservation at a restaurant. Okay, you make a reservation at a restaurant. What about takeout? Mm. A package. Okay, uh, takeout. What is takeout? A package meal that you can eat away from the restaurant. Very good. And what is delivery? You can call a restaurant or the food and they take it. Okay, home. good, good. All right, any questions on that exercise, people? No? Okay. So let me take you to the next page. We are, let's see this here. Where is that book? Right there. Is it raining where you are? Yes, yes. a lot. Yes. Yeah, it's now it's raining hard in Lourdes. No, here in San Miguel. Okay, San Miguel is usually hot. Yes, a lot. Uh-huh, San Miguel. So, will there be a carnival this year? Do you know? No, no, no huh? it's not a carnival. Yeah, there will be a no. carnival. Okay, now, can you see the image? Yes. Okay. Yes. What is what what does it say in number five? How to use comparative adjectives. Okay, good. Now let me start by asking you this. What is the function of an adjective? Describe the verb. Very good. It it can describe a verb, it can describe a person, a place. Can you mention examples of adjectives? <laughs> Let me start. Ahí en el chat le voy a poner. Um, nice. Can you write one adjective in the chat? Sí. Escriba un, un adjetivo en el chat. Everybody. Okay. Hot, tall, cute, tall. A ver, ¿quién más? Who else? Who else? Beautiful, big, small, short. Okay, so those are adjectives. Very good. Now, let me explain the following. Stunning. Uh-huh. Okay. So, we have adjectives in English. Let's see. ta -da -dam. Yep, stunning, short. Okay. Use the comparative form of adjectives to compare two people, things, or animals. Delivery service is better than takeout. I need one volunteer to read this part here. Volunteer, please. When the adjective, uh-huh. When the adjective has one or two syllables, make the comparative by adding er, to the end of the adjective. Then use them after the adjective. Very good, thank you. So once again, uh, we have short adjectives and we have long adjectives. A short adjective is the one that has one syllable. It has one syllable. Can, can somebody please read the examples that we have here, please. The buffet. Go ahead. Go ahead, Mary. <laughs> the buffet restaurant on the corner is cheaper than the one on Main Street. Okay. How do you say barato in English? Cheaper. Cheap. Cheap. Más barato? Cheaper. 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 Very good. Cheaper. The second example, please. Second example. The waiters. The waiters at the French post are faster than the waiters at the phone coffee. Very good. How do you say rápido? 
Más rápido. Faster. So once again, here we have the word barato, cheap. Cheap. But since we're comparing, we will say cheaper. 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 Now here I have rápido, fast. 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 But I want to say más rápido. I will say faster. 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 Okay. So once again, anything, any adjective that has one syllable, if you want to make the comparative, you will say, you will write ER at the end. Small, smaller, um, nice, nicer, uh, slow, slower. You will write ER at the end. Are this is, we this is the, yes. I have, sorry, I have a question. Yes, ask me please. This is the only rule? No, we have exceptions. Okay. So, uh, let, for example, here it says one or two syllables, but this explanation needs more information because when the when the when the syllable when the adjective has two syllables, and you want to make comparative, you write er at the end, but only when this adjective finishes in letter Y. Uh, can you think about a, a synonym for the word beautiful? What is a synonym for beautiful? Um, gorgeous. Gorgeous pretty. and pretty. Okay. Pretty. Okay. So when they say two syllables, they are talking about ver uh, adjectives that finish in Y. Silly, pretty, fancy, chilly. So if that is the case, then you're going to write ER at the end. I will give you more examples later on. Is this part clear? Is this part clear? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Now we go with long adjectives. Long adjectives, they have two syllables or more. May I have a volunteer to read this part? When the adjective has more than two syllables, use more before the adjectives and then, and then after it. Okay, good. All right, so if the adjective has two syllables or more, then you have to say more if you want to compare. May I have a volunteer to read these examples here? All restaurants are more beautiful than New restaurant. Okay, and the second example? Especially dishes are more expensive than the rest of the meal. Okay, good. So as you can see, cheaper, más barato. Faster, más rápido. You need to write ER when the adjective has only one syllable. If the adjective has two syllables or more, like beautiful, how many syllables does beautiful have? Three. 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 Beautiful. Four. Three. Beautiful. Three. Three. What about the word expensive? Three. 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 Three as well. Now let me ask you, and this is for the rest of your lives, it's not only for this class. How do you identify the number of syllables in a word. So your answer is good for beautiful and expensive. How do you know that beautiful has three syllables? How do you know? Because it is, it's the same thing that in the Spanish that you you make you take place you take a little piece of the of the old, the old sentence oh, the word. or the old the old word, and 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 separately in in the smaller <clears throat> like the example of beautiful you take uh -huh. bear, tea, and full the uh, 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 how do you say it? take the, it, vocal the, the... the vocals the uh, vocals right the vowels. 
vowels. vowels. Okay. Vowels. Now, if I say hospital, how many syllables does hospital have? Three. Three. What if I say telephone? Three. 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 Okay. Now, let me show you in the chat. Telephone. 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 How many vowels do we have? How many vowels are there? Four. You have to. So to we have. Separate a... phone. Okay. So when you say separate sounds, what sounds are you talking about exactly? We're talking about the vowel sounds. We have A, E, I, O, U. So when you pronounce a word, if you hear two vowels, that indicates that the word has two syllables. Oh. When you pronounce a word, if you hear <laughs> four vowel sounds, that means that the word has two, four syllables. So then how do you know the number of syllables in a word? It depends on the number of vowels that you hear. So let me give you another example. Okay, how do you pronounce that country? United States. United States. How many syllables are there? In the two words, how many syllables are there in the two words? Four syllables. Four. Okay. Four United States. States. Four is correct. Four is correct. The United States. So once again, when you're pronouncing a word, the number of vowels that you hear will indicate how many syllables the word has. And this is how you classify a, a short adjective from a long adjective. So a short adjective has only one syllable. A long adjective has two syllables or more. But when we're talking about short adjectives, any adjective that finishes in Y and has two syllables is classified as a short one. Any questions or comments about this explanation? No. 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 Okay. So let me do this here. So now you will do part six and seven. Um, when I assign you to work in pairs, number one, I want you to discuss what you understood. Number two, I want you to do part six and see what the best answer is. And the last activity for today is going to be part seven. We have less than 20 minutes left. They will go uh, fast. Let me make the rooms. Does everybody have a book um, ready? Does everybody have the book ready? Yes. Yes. Okay, so let me... So... Breakout rooms. I will mm -hmm. I will change. With him, Complete. I will change with him. With him. And the last one. 
I will move her to the favorite. All right, here we go, people. Five is only we have the six and seven part. Uh, yes, you have to do part six and seven. And, uh, but the first thing you need to do is explain to each other part five, how to make mm -hmm. comparatives of the short and long adjectives. Okay. All right. <laughs> Just talk, don't worry. <laughs> Este, en, en la segunda. The second one? Yes. Okay. Shipper than. Shipper than. Shipper uh -huh. than. Yeah. Shipper. Yeah. We have to add the ER. Tenemos que agregar el ER. Shipper. Shipper, ER. Yeah. Okay. Sí. Their beverage. Do you have the, the book printed? Tienes el, mm. el, el no. libro? We no. have to. Sí. En la... Okay. In my opinion, I think it's a basic rule because uh, we have other rules. For example, uh, I saw uh, when we have uh, one syllable, for, for example, happy. This word end in Y, but you for them. Shiver down. In the in the three, French French restaurant, French restaurant are, are um, more are more are more romantic more. than fast food restaurant. Yes. Romantic. The the three the three the three sellers. <coughs> it's a word. It's an adjective with three syllables. Yeah. Yes. Four. More than one. The four. More. Romantic. Than. Fast food restaurant. Okay. More romantic than. The buffet at main left restaurant is complete than chance. Okay. More complete than more complete. Okay. Next five. Their service is fast. Teacher, I have a question. <laughs> yes, ask me. The, what's, the, what's the question? What's the meaning of appealing? Appealing is something that is attractive. Okay. Yes. Teacher, yes, I Elena. have a, a, with the sentence five. Okay. Because in the sentence uh, are three spaces. 
Okay. But fast, I think, is faster. Yes, that's a good observation. And remind me to, um, to tell everybody that sometimes the physical version of, of the books has mistakes. Mm -hmm. So uh, you're right, it's faster than. Uh -huh. It says okay. their service is faster than the restaurants we went to last week. You're last right. week. Mm -hmm. So apparently, if you see three lines, it's because mm -hmm. you need three words, but that's not the case. Uh -huh. there, are, there are some printing mistakes with the books. That's okay. a good observation. Okay. Yes. Okay. In the part, uh, in the number seven, uh -huh. what we do? It says brainstorm a list a of list restaurant of restaurant. services you have experienced. This one is just to practice your speaking mm -hmm. because in the first part of the class, we mentioned, oh, my favorite restaurant is Papa John's, mm -hmm. Burger King's, Pollo Campero, whatever. Mm -hmm. Now you have to talk about other restaurants that you have experienced <coughs> before. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very general. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> sure. Let me see. What room are you guys in? You guys are room six. Jimena and Mercy. Mm -hmm. All right. Go ahead. Lo se comparte. Mm -hmm. Okay, Marcela, Stephanie, Hello. and Luis. Luis, Hello, teacher. Stephanie, Marcela, 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 Orellana. Yes. I got you here. Okay, good. Which number are you guys doing? We're finished. Oh, you guys are finished. Okay, let me... Take the second attendance, room seven. And uh, let me go to room nine. I'll be right back. Uh, Hi, you, teacher. Christian Omar and Josue Edgardo. Hello, how are you doing? Uh, yeah, we're uh, fine. Very good. I, we, bueno, we have a question. Yes, ask me. Okay, in, in how many syllables? has the word complete? Two. Complete. Ah, okay. complete. Complete. Yeah, remember that we classify the vowels that we hear, not the vowels that we okay. see. Because when you write complete, you have O, E, E. You have three. But the last E is quiet. So complete. So you only take okay. into account letter O and letter E. So it has uh, two in syllables. This, in this case, uh, complete is a uh, exception to the rule. No. Um, you said, um, for example, this cell phone is more complete than the one that I had before. Because the rule says if complete has two syllables. So how do you make the comparative of a long adjective? You use more. The exception is when the word finishes in letter Y, like pretty, silly, ugly, chilly, fancy. That is the exception. So like uh, ugly, ugly has two, two syllables. So, but you don't mm -hmm. say more ugly, you say uglier. Ugly. But you said it's chilly here. You don't say more chilly, you say chillier. So complete stays normal. Is more complete. So the exceptions not, are, are the ones that finish in letter Y. In this case, it's not completer. No, it's more complete. More, more complete. More complete. More, more complete. Yeah, it's more okay. complete. So you can say this dictionary is more complete than the one I got last year, for example. Yep. All right. Any other yeah. questions you may have? No, no, I, I don't have. Okay, let me finish taking okay. attendance and we're almost done. Teacher. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Fine, we end, but I, we have a question. Ask me, maybe I have the answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, 
we confused and the okay. and the um, five sentence for example they say the service is the restaurant we went to last week yes and it's fast but uh, they have three lines three faces? faces yes three lines and they were only have one syllable yes exactly that's a very good observation and you are the second person that mentions the same information let me clarify something uh, the book has some printed mistakes mm. because fast is faster than it's supposed to be only two spaces but yeah. this is a mistake and it has three spaces so mm -hmm. you're not confused the book has a mistake but your ah. ideas are clear so you said uh the, their service is faster than the restaurant we went to last week yes okay. uh-huh all right good oh. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> All right, good. I think it's time to go back to the main session. Let me see this here. Okay. Done one more. Oh, or oh, more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> about to delivery. The, <laughs> uh, the delivery service. The, yes. the difference uh, between delivery or takeout. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, delivery is more convenient for, for everybody. But, but, but it's more expensive. You need yep. to pay more for the, under the price. Yep, yep. So in some cases, you call X restaurant, the food might be a little bit expensive. And then on top of that, you have to pay for the delivery service, which is more. So Yeah, it's true. Now, so people think twice before calling delivery now. <laughs> yep. All right, so yeah. let's go back to the main session. Okay. All right. Did you miss me? Yes. <laughs> I know, that's why I came back. That's why I brought you guys back. Anyways, I, I want to clarify something. Uh, two people mentioned that exercise five in part six, it has three spaces. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the correct answer is supposed to have only two spaces. So let me clarify, let me explain. Thank you. The book, the book sometimes you will find uh, printed mistakes. So when they were making the program, whoever was doing, whoever was behind, they wrote two lines. But when they printed the, the book, those two lines became three. So it's good that you notice and you pay attention like, man, I'm supposed to have three spaces here when the correct form is only two. So when you see cases like that, please mention it and please ask questions. So. Uh, it's it's normal. The, the, the book has some uh, some printed <laughs> mistakes. Right, right. Okay, um, any questions or comments, people? Your silence is deafening. <laughs> <laughs> Ensordecedor su silencio. <laughs> Anyways, so, so please remember that your camera needs to be on during the whole two hours. Because when Insafor monitors the classes and they don't see you, they will say, oh, Francisco was not there. He was not teaching. So it is mandatory that your camera is always activated. Any questions or comments before we go? No? All right, no. so I will let you go. I will see you tomorrow at eight o'clock. Thank you for making the space. You guys have a good night. You did well good today. Night. Good night. Thank you. Good, good night. night. Good night. Bye. 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 Same to you.